Friday the 23rd I had a couple out here from uh, Houston, Texas and we were right here in the middle of the bridge. Uh, we had a spirit playing with my flashlight turning it on and off but he was getting some nice shots of his girlfriend with a lot of ectoplasm and uh, we caught a EVP out here that night also uh, when we were trying to get something to appear uh, and weren't being successful uh, Heather says um, she said I'll walk away and a few seconds later you hear what appears to be a younger girl's voice say don't so it was pretty awesome and it was right around in this area I'll walk away I'll walk away I'll walk away Of course this was a retreat line for the Confederate soldiers uh, after this after the Battle of Gettysburg so uh, they came through here with their men also wounded men were on the bridge there's a field hospital down around the corner here uh, so a lot of activity a lot of things happened here at this bridge and still this day people are always reporting of paranormal activity so it's one of the reasons we love to come out here to Saks Bridge We've never been out here in daylight to do a paranormal investigation. This is our first time attempting it in the daylight. Notice the spiking, if you would, that uh, David's getting on his K2 right now. Uh, so it looks like we are getting some activity out here. Uh, Probably the most alone that we've been out here as well, so that's also a good thing too. Yeah, quite often we come out, there are a lot of other people around. But uh, it's interesting to be out here in the daytime trying this, so we'll see what happens. So if you would, just go ahead and turn that torch on, please. Can you light up my fingers? Make the light shine on my hand. Okay, so would like to speak with us today. We're here at a spot at Saks Bridge where we'd like to come out. We have a spirit here by the, that we call by the name of Tennessee. We uh, bring him out tobacco, as he would call it. We would call it cigarettes today. Uh, we bring it out for him to smoke. We did this experiment uh, last year and got a lot of success with it. And what he'll do is we'll light it up for him and he'll actually take draws off the cigarette. Come on up and take a nice big drag off that, buddy. Come on up and enjoy taking everything off. There's no way we can keep it going. You're going to have to smoke it. Remember, it'll go out if you don't smoke it. Come on, Tennessee. There you go. There you go. Come, Come on, on, Tennessee. Come on, Tennessee. That's a nice long draw. Come on, Tennessee. Come Take on. another hit off of that there. Come on, Tennessee. Just like you did. Yeah, Come on, Tennessee. He's been known to move it as well, turn it completely 360 degrees. Also known to flick it out at people on investigations out here in the past. So anytime we come out, we always try to give him a nice free draw off of a cigarette. We're at a field hospital. Uh, it was Socks or Sachs um, Mill back in the 1860s. And that's where Sachs Bridge gets its name from. And this house was used as a field hospital. Uh, they used the bridge as a triage area. They would bring the severely wounded over here to the house for surgery. So there's no telling how many limbs were cut off and tossed out the windows there, arms and legs. Uh, so we get a lot of activity over here. It's a private house, we're not allowed to go into it, uh, but we do bring our guests up here for paranormal investigations. <laughs> 